you must have seen these 3D renders, and they look very hand-drawn. We chatted a little bit with at Ruki Curry on what makes her character renders stand out. And here's what she said. One, it's super important to simplify the planes of the face. Doing so has a carry on effect in that you get much more consistent line results. Then there's the actual model topology where you want to build the shadow shapes into the topology for later vertex normal editing for nice shading. Two, Build your model to be seen in 2D. Apply a flat or tune shaded material early and keep checking it. 3. Don't over detail if you're trying to emulate cartoons. It's easy to do so in 3D, but traditional animation artists have to draw the same character over and over, so the designs are streamlined and typically don't include a lot of frivolous details. 4. Study the best models you can find, i.e. ARC system works. Study good models, try to figure out why and how they did certain things. 5. The shading. Don't rely on generated shading, control it. Use shadow masks, edit your normals, and always simplify. 6. Study color. Study artists who have great color. And look into color theory. Of course, BNPR has some great resources on that. 7. Don't just use black outlines for your line art. Use color and play with the darkness for different results. 8. Render using multiple layers and edit the final result in your image editing program of choice. Especially when you want that X factor of 3D looking 2D, even small manual edits make a big difference. 9. For post-processing, have a look in mind that you're going for. For modern anime, Slightly blur the image, add a soft glow, and kill the digital look if you can. 10. Study what you want to emulate. Look at the shapes, shadow shapes, etc. Knowing some 2D also helps a lot. And these are her secrets. These are pretty deep things, stuff you will work on for years. You can put them as milestones in your NPR journey. <laughs>